Good morning, folks. We've got CME impact and a resulting solar storm. We've had more solar flares and another burst is on its way to Earth. We'll also peek in on two stories in the climate realm, with one being very, very important. But we're starting, as always, with our star, and we find the last 24 hours with continued flaring at the active region sunspot groups. We took more M-class events, and one of them released a pretty solid CME. Of course, we had been looking for impact to occur overnight, and the plasma cloud did arrive. You can see it in the solar wind telemetry last night as the denser, faster, and hotter stream that triggered geomagnetic activity as it coupled with the magnetic field overnight. KP rose just above 5, which is the geomagnetic storm level we may reverberate today. But as I mentioned, we've got another one coming our way as well. On the north, just turned past center disk, the longer duration flash and coronal clearing indicates the release of that CME from the flare. It will be another moderate impact like the one last night, and the Enlil spirals are updated again to show that event with an Earth-directed component. This is plainly obvious as well on SOHO coronagraphs. You can see the wide burst of the full halo eruption should arrive tomorrow night or Friday. Excellent article up first here, detailing the actual measured impacts of climate change without tweaking numbers or attempting to fit a political paradigm. They suggest there's really not so much of a change, actually, in ocean acidity, precipitation, Great Lakes water levels, extreme storm events, or the number of forest fires in the local region. In fact, they've actually gone down. But the bigger story follows up one from years ago, the cold climate bomb. The Beaufort Gyre usually cycles between freshwater accumulation and freshwater release, but it had been stuck for what would normally be three to four full cycles in the accumulation phase. When such a vast amount released, it could rapidly freshen the Atlantic, cool the waters, and cause major cold climate impacts. We finally have evidence the gyre is about to unleash. This would be a tremendously impactful event for the oceans and the atmosphere and could not only impact the temperatures, but winter storm activity as well and could further shut down the heat transport in the oceans like the AMOC and the Gulf Stream, which is the exact scenario from the movie The Day After Tomorrow. Huge news there out of Woods Hole. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.